Welcome back once more to the channel, everybody. Today, I'm going to be drafting players that were born in Canada. I had to go back to, I think, I probably did this in NHL 22 as well. But I think I just went to my NHL 20 drafts playlist for ideas. And this was one of them. In fact, I think it was one of the first ones I did. So, we're going to be trying it today on NHL 23. I have a good feeling about it. We're going to be using the New York Islanders, which... Kind of weird, you know, I was hoping we were going to get a Canadian team, but the odds of that are kind of slim. Do you guys see where the- oh, there he is. Yeah, right. Jabroni, get out of here. All right, we are ready to rumble. I am going to say we get pick number 13. Lucky number 13. Or unlucky. Wow, okay. I was very near on that guess. Patrick Kane making 2.6 is ridiculous. I think I'm going to go with Sydney the Kidney. He is one of the most iconic Canadian hockey players of all time. It would be wrong if I didn't. Huberto to play alongside Sydney the Kidney is going to be disgusting. They are both playmakers, so that could be an issue, but whatever. I'm going offense first. Mark Stone is going to complete that first line, and holy smokes, if they don't put up 98 points each, I'm going to be very disappointed. I feel like Christophe Letang is a pretty good way to start out our defensive core. So let's go ahead, draft him, making 6.1, not too shabby, for six more years, holy! When did he sign that deal? I feel like the average age of this team is quite high, but again, another Canadian legend, Flower. Even if you don't like the team he's playing on, you still have to love this guy, he's so good. I say that because he was a Penguin, and I'm a Capitals fan. So obviously, that rivalry, playoffs being eliminated year after year, still loved Flower though. Tim Winston! Second line right winger, I think so. Definitely gonna have to smarten up with the cap space soon, but Ryan Graves is gonna be joining Chris Letang on the first pair for defensemen. I think anyway, we'll see what happens, but most likely that will be the case. Boone, second line centerman playing with Tim Winston. I already love it. And you know what? Let's cap that second line off with Davey Perron. Left winger shoots right, whatever. It is what it is. Joining the team regardless. Good old Jim Reimer. 2.2, pretty tempting, but instead I'm going to go with Laurent Brossois, 2.3. I mean, those stats are making me second guess myself, so I'm going to go ahead and make that pick before I change my mind. Ryan Murray's a decent way to start off the second pair. Unfortunately, had to drop down an overall further than I would have liked, but our cap situation is... Worth paying attention to. That's all I'm gonna say. Could draft Colin Miller. Threes from our Be A Pro, if you remember that. Sure. I do believe that now I need two left-handed defenders, but that's alright. I'm gonna draft Nick Paul. 82 overall power forward. I always forget that he was drafted by Dallas, but anyway. Yeah, seven years left at 3.1. Wow, he signed long-term. I didn't know that. Let's go, Nick. I actually did not know that Barkley Goudreau was from Toronto. But I learned that today, and as a result, he will be joining the New York Islanders full of Canadian players. I also had no idea that Corey Perry was born that north, but regardless, I will happily take him on this team. Let's get some Brendan Dillon action going. 3.9 isn't the best contract in the world, but I think that with four picks remaining, we should be able to stay within 15 quite easily. From Saskatchewan, Braden McNabb. I kind of want to do the Battle of the Provinces again. I don't know if I did that on NHL 22 or not, but I know I've done it in the past. And Ontario is, you know, stacked, but it would still be fun to see what the other teams look like. Either way, I'm going to stop rambling and make the pick. $12 million for a fourth line. I believe we can make that happen. From Quebec, Frederick Goudreau. 90 discipline as well. What a mad lad. Only 77 face-offs. We can work on that, you know? Just kidding. You're not taking any face-offs because I'm also drafting Jordan Stahl. We have the cap, and Mans has 91 in the dot. Goaded on the sticks, quite literally. Gallagher would have been nice, but the salary situation makes that impossible. Okay, Colton, let's do it. He has 82 face-offs as well, you know, as a primary right winger. That's good stuff. It's only a secondary centerman, and he still has better draws than most of them. I almost forget who our first picks were. Let's go ahead and see. Obviously, I know we got Sydney the Kidney, Huberdo, Stone, Latang, Tom Wilson, okay. And then Flower and Net. Yeah, I think we have a good team here. Is it a Stanley Cup winning team? That I cannot answer. 
But once we go in, edit the line, see what kind of chemistry we're dealing with here, I think I could provide you with a slightly more educated guess. As expected, plus five on the first line, and our second line actually gets a plus one. I'm very happy with that. Perfect. Third line is a thing of beauty. Stall, Goudreau, and Perry. Now I feel like normally when we have good offensive chemistry, the defense hate each other. It is an absolute train wreck back there, but hopefully this time's different. Kind of. There's gotta be something I can do here. They're all 82 overall. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. There really isn't much I can do here. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take the dash one on the final pair. That's not a big deal. We got a plus two on the first pair, which is huge. Latang, Graves, appreciate yous. Getting along. And in net, Flower backed up by Brossois. So, do I think we're gonna make the playoffs? I would say yes. I think this is a playoff team. 44 wins. And... Crosby gets the most points with 87. It's got to be. Now again, at the deadline, I can trade for Canadian players, but let's find out how the team's doing at that point and whether or not I want to bother making any trades. Right now, it is looking like I'm probably going to want to make some trades. Guys, can we win some hockey games here or no? Like, what's going on? Wow, are we really that bad? We're last in the Metro right now. 10 wins on the season so far. Not liking the looks of it. Okay, okay, time out! Time out! I'm doing a madness. Tom Wilson's going to the first line to play with Hubes and Crosby. And then we'll put Marcus Stone with Jenner and Perron. Hopefully that second line will start to be sick. Is there anything I can do down here to increase line chemistry or anything like that? Okay. If I bring Goudreau up, this becomes a plus one. Obviously, I want Stahl taking the face-offs. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll leave that. Defensively... There's just nothing I can do. They just despise each other. I might make a trade at the deadline, but probably going to screw it up again and end up making this a dash five. Nice. That's a big win. Followed by a 9-1 win. Okay. GM of the year, just for moving Stone down to the second line. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Ooh. Three losses in a row kind of brings us right back down. Big bounce back win there against the Canes, but... Yeah, we're going to have to really gain some ground here because we started off this year miserably. Ooh, the Jets have fired Calvin Burns. Sorry about your luck there, Calvi. It's worth looking. I'm just saying we have an A coach. Okay, so maybe never mind. I think our boy's probably staying. 63 fit as well. Yeah. We'll look though. Just in case. You never know. E. A B. And 60 fit, so no shot. Sure, let's just go on a 20-game losing streak. Sounds like y'all want to get traded to me. Zach Hyman, we could try. They want to get rid of him, so that helps us out. And it's doing a massive retention right now, which I'm going to delete that real quick. We could upgrade our second line left winger from Perron to Zach Hyman. Draft picks. I don't want to give up anything crazy here. Maybe like a fourth. That's not going to happen. I don't want to give up a second because that seems like a bit of a reach. Maybe like a fourth and a fifth and just see what they say. They're going to say, absolutely not, you're an idiot, but I'm still going to try it. Trade rejected. Yeah. You failed to meet both our value expectations. Okay, zip it. Ooh, Slavin got traded. They don't really want anything from us, so it's going to be too difficult to make this trade go through. I guess we should maybe just leave our team as it is and hope for the best. Okay, there you go. Hartman. As well as Jacob being traded to Smashville in exchange for Geeky in two seconds. I... Do I? No, I don't. I'm quite confident that the Van Riemsdyks are American anyway, so couldn't even play on the team. I do appreciate the waiver offer, though. That's a good start to the post-trade deadline. Nice. Okay. We got some poise or something going on here. The boys digging deep. I'll take shootout losses, overtime losses all day. It's a point. See that right there? Those two games, that's a win. 34, 6th in the division. That one nothing loss is killer. You guys can't be doing that. I don't think we're going to make it. We're going to have to basically win out here. Nah, we're out. Well, it was a kind of good run. Not really. I feel like this is one of the first ones that have gone really not well in quite some time. I don't even remember the last time I finished last in a division. That Hoyts. Let's check out the entire league. Colorado with the President's Trophy. They got Nuge, ADB, and Marner. Okay, Cop, Lee, and Rick. They have Evander Kane on their third line. And then Felino on their fourth. You see what I see in net. Uyghur, 
with Pesci, Tanev, Muzzin. Yeah, they do have a good team. The top 16 squads made it. Where'd we finish in the league? Please don't be that bad. Okay, 24th. That is somewhat acceptable, I suppose. 78 points from Sydney the Kidney, 71 from Hirado. That first line just really didn't do anything. Latang did well. Props to him. Mark Stone, 67. I'm just disappointed, guys. I really am. Flower did okay. 9-10 with 266. And then our backup goalie wasn't spectacular, but I guess that's sort of acceptable backup numbers other than the record. Soros dominated the league. He had 47 wins, and then Jari was the next closest with 39. That is insanity. Point a game for Tui. 72 apples. What a good number. And he absolutely killed it. Fox did great. Makar, Hedman... Very good year for defensemen. A few players got past 100. Ovi, Hughes, and Cooch. And Cooch and Ovi swapped teams. Past the 39 goals, 98 points. All right, so yeah, let's sim past the playoffs. Find out what happens. Where will the Stanley Cup be landing this time around? I don't know if Colorado will be able to win the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup, but they are still in it. And they also just dummied the Dallas Stars. So maybe they just have an insane team. And they might win both. They do not. The Washington Capitals go on to win the Stanley. Let's just look at the Washington Capitals here. See what... Farabee, 24 points in 28 games. He went off. Kucherov, 23. JT Miller with 20. Kasha with 20. Okay. Zabinijad had 28. Kent Johnson, 19 points. Hello? In net, they had Mackenzie Blackwood, who didn't do phenomenal, but Montembeau, I guess, came in and picked up the slack a little bit when needed. Here is the overall goalie stats for playoffs. You see what I see with a 920. 924 from Logan Thompson and a 927 from Andre. I would say Dougie dominated defense, but he didn't really because Victor Hedman had six less points and he played half the games. Your Conn Smythe winner, Mika Zibanejad. 28 points, Ovi had 27, ADB 26. Wow, did Ovi lose in the stand? Oh no, that can't be possible because the Caps won it. So they must have lost in the conference finals though. And on top of that, every series went to seven. It was definitely the Avs that made it to the finals. ADB 26 points, Marner 24. Quite confident that we're going home empty handed, but we'll have a look here at the trophies. Conn Smythe is in fact landing in the hands of Mika Zibanejad. And empty-handed are your New York Islanders. Here is your playoff tree. Which draft do you want to see next? you want to see a Swedish player's draft? American-born? Let me know. Or if you just want to see other drafts, you have other ideas, let me know that as well. Washington went to seven games every single time. Their fans must have been so stressed out. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Stats show that 124% of you are not subscribed to the channel that are watching this. I don't know if I already said that or not, so I just decided to double down. Anyway, um, yeah, let's maybe make that stat a little bit better. All right, on a real note, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.